watching News 8. Pleased to be joined by Blue Cease from the Rochester Contemporary Arts Center once again. Blue, it's always good to see you. Hi, Mark. Although virtually kind of different for the two of us. Usually it's in studio, and that's kind of the launching point for our conversation. You have a new exhibition at ROCO called Trust But Verify. And I say new. It's been out for a few weeks now. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this exhibition is very timely. Um, it's structured around a triad of past, present, and future. And the three big uh, projects that make up this exhibition, they're all uh, representing artists who are grappling with and exploring our society's questioning of truth uh, and accuracy and veracity. There's a lot to the exhibition. It's very current. It's very timely. We've been hearing a lot about deep fakes lately. So um, uh, it's an exciting time for us to sort of reopen uh, with this exhibition. On display through November 14th, Blue, tell us about the artists involved. Yeah, so um, there are three major projects in the exhibition. One uh, by Octavio Abundes, uh, and he's based in Guadalajara, Mexico. And that project is called A Fake History of Humanity. The current project uh, representing the present is by Eric Kunzman, who's a terrific artist based here in Rochester. That project is called Fake News, and it really, really chronicles the Trump presidency through news headlines. All their secrets, their lives, their futures. And then lastly, by Bill Posters and Daniel Howe, um, who are based in Uganda and Hong Kong. Uh, this is a, a really profound and challenging series of deep fake videos, which I really encourage everyone to come in and experience uh, this really uh, uh, unique use of this technology. As we come to the Arts Center along East Avenue in Rochester, anything we need to know COVID related if we want to check it out? Yes, thank you for asking. Um, we are uh, back up and open our normal hours. Um, certainly, we're following all of the New York State uh, health uh, guidelines, uh, physical distancing, um, masks are required, of course, to enter. And because there's an interactive component in our exhibition, every visitor is given gloves, disposable gloves upon entry. Um, visitors do not need to uh, sign up for a time to visit during our normal hours. However, we are mandating uh, a very small number of people in the space at a time, uh, which we uh, don't foresee running into that limit during our normal hours. Thanks, Blue. Appreciate the time. 